slash like school advice video so yeah let's go ahead and just get started with this video okay y'all so the first thing is relationships i have my different opinions about high school relationships but the number one thing is that they are not the most important thing like do not go into high school or into like your new year of high school like with the focus of getting into a relationship like, relationships are good but there should not be your main focus, okay? So like, know your place, know what's happening, and treat your, like, y'all gotta treat each other how y'all wanna be treated. Like, you wanna act single, other person should act single too, so. If you're a girl or a boy, and you know that somebody's in a relationship and they are happy and they're thriving, do not be the person to try to break them up just because you have a crush on the boy or just because you have a crush on the girl. Like, do not be that person. No one likes that type of person. Like. It causes unnecessary drama like don't be like that because it's it's messy and it's just not attractive at all and um someone on my yolo uh actually was like can you tell us like how to talk to girls and honestly what i would do is like me as a girl i like someone who talks to me in person but like it's always easier for me to talk to people over social media first get the snapchat get the instagram uh get their ads on all their social medias social medias and i would start talking to them over there for on there first be yourself like when you're talking to somebody be yourself don't pretend to be someone you're not because it makes talking to that person 10 times harder than it would than it does to just be yourself in a conversation if, if the person ends up not liking who you are as yourself then that's on them and they're obviously not for you talk about things that you like or talk about things that they like or do a little bit of like a teasing kind of but not so much to the point where like it's rude you know as a girl we like guys who are funny so like if you can make us laugh literally with anything like if you can make us laugh you're in when people are trying to talk to you that are older than you i'm gonna say it like everybody else does i'm gonna say it don't go for the older guys don't mess with the or girls don't mess with them those seniors they do not love you baby they don't love you the senior the senior boys that try to hit on you girls are not gonna love you i promise you all they see you as is new like something new okay um move on to the making friends segment this one was actually so hard for me because like i was just like i am not a very i was not a very like outgoing person i was very much like kept to myself and i wanted people to like approach me first and if you're trying to make friends you can't be like that like you have to put yourself out there you have to be open to new people because there's so many different people that you're gonna meet like just be open to new people be open to new ideas like don't go in with assumptions that you made of people in middle school because people literally change people change all the time i changed as a person from how i was in middle school like no one stays the same so don't go in to high school like deciding like oh i don't like that person i like be open to who like to whoever like no matter what you hear about them just be open someone on my yellow was like how do they, they said something along the lines of how do i make friends but steer away stay away from like drama and um fake people and honestly it's really hard to do I, you just have to know like who is there who is like really there for you you know who like who are the people that check up on you who are the people that will help you with like if you're like struggling in like a class or something like who are the people that will have your back if other people are talking bad about you who are the people that will tell you if other people are talking bad about you so and honestly that's probably going to be a few people you can't even lie it's probably going to be a few people like wait, one or two people that what the heck was that? <laughs> one or two people probably will 
like you'll know that like truly have your back just know that it's okay to not have friends that aren't as close with you as your best friends are and um you know if you know that somebody is fake obviously don't trust them like it's kind of simple like if you feel like some like if you have a feeling that someone is being fake with you or if you know that someone is being is really fake with other people chances are they're gonna be fake with you too so i would not trust that person like i knew some girls last year who were literally best friends but always talked bad about each other so i stayed away from them because i was like no nah, like if you're talking about your best friend like that how are you gonna talk about me surround yourself with people that are making you happy you know another tip that i will add is make sure you know somebody like you're friends with somebody like in your class and have them on like social media and stuff that way you can like keep up with work if you're missing if you miss a day or like if you're if, like if you are absent or like if you need help with something making small talk really helps with uh making friends or like trying to say something that's like relatable i guess you know kind of just like try to keep conversations going and flowing you know because like if you are the if you aren't trying to have like conversation and if you're not like trying to be friends with somebody then y'all aren't gonna be friends like y'all both have to like try and like talk to each other you know i'm gonna tell y'all something that y'all probably will not believe but your friends from middle school are not gonna stay your friends in high school okay and before you say like nah that's not true i swore like people that were older than me told me they're like no y'all probably aren't gonna be friends in high school and i swore up and down i was like no like i'm gonna like we're staying friends forever like what like what are you talking about girl i drifted away from all of them it was all a bunch of drama like i'm not friends with any of them and any of the people that i was best friends with middle school any and anymore i was not innocent they were not innocent either so you know we just aren't friends anymore so don't go in expecting to keep the friends that you had like obviously don't go in thinking like oh i'm gonna ditch these friends now like i'm in high school but like don't go in relying on them to be your only friends you know because that's what i did big mistake people will be fake people will be rude people will talk bad about you um people will smile in your face talk bad about you behind your back um it's just how it is kind of and it's a matter of how you deal with it and if you're like the bigger person and just letting things like that go and it's a matter of like knowing who is really by your side but now we're going to talk about teachers okay so the biggest thing is making sure that your teachers like you and how to do that is to be in the middle don't be a, like try to be like a kid or like a teacher's pet but don't be that one kid that's like super disrespectful like doesn't even ever try to talk to their teacher or anything like just be in the middle because i will admit i was more like the kid that like doesn't want to like wants nothing to do with none of the teachers like did not like any of them like i was more like that my freshman year and it made it harder for me to like get like good grades and stuff and made it hard for me to like be interested in what we were learning because i didn't like the teacher i think honestly being nice to p other people because teachers are really observant like they're really observant and they'll see like if they know that you're someone that's like mean to other kids outside of class they're, they're probably not gonna like you so like if you're just a genuine nice person then your teachers will like you if you mind your business your teachers will like you and if you make it and you have to make it seem like you care about your grades like if you are a kid that like well like doesn't care like at all about their grade your teachers aren't gonna really care about you and that's sad because, but that's just how it is like your teachers are not gonna care they're gonna be like oh well they don't care so like why should i care because you know make sure you talk to your teacher because i'm sure like teachers definitely like it more when a student like goes to them about like a problem with their grade or something rather than just like complaining about it you know so i think it's really important to be upfront kind of you know and make sure you're caring about your grades because your teacher will um, see that you care and uh, they'll it'll probably make them respect you more so so moving on from teachers i'm gonna talk about keeping up 
with the work. High school is definitely harder. You have to gain a sense of responsibility and like keep up with your work and turn things in on time. And I feel like the biggest thing to help you keep up with your work is to turn things in on time. Because like when you have a bunch of late work, it kind of just like all piles up and makes more stress and it's just a mess. It's all about you because me, I'm a person who can do things like in one night, like I can handle a bunch of work, but I know that some people can't. So you have to like recognize like how you work and how yourself works the best with schoolwork and pace yourself. Everyone paces themselves differently. So, and also something that you should know is you don't have to do all like pre-AP and AP and like honors classes. Like if you have a subject that you're really good at, I recommend doing it like pre-AP or AP. You know, it's better to have good grades and be doing like regular classes or classes that you know you can handle or classes that only give you like a little bit of a challenge, but you can still like, you can like overcome that challenge rather than having, you know, like um, C's and like failing and getting because you're in classes that are too hard for you to even keep up with, you know? Because there's a big difference between like having a class that challenges you and having a class that like you can't do it because you can't keep up with. And it's good to have a little challenge, but it's not good to have like too much of a challenge to the point where you can't keep up with it and overcome it. So now I'm gonna give y'all some like tips, I guess, for studying and helping you learn more. Make sure you give yourself time to study and don't try to cram everything in because it's just gonna be harder for um, your brain to remember all of that. It's better to write things down because it helps you remember it easier and faster than it does if you're just reading things. So like what I do is like if I if my teacher like gave me a set of notes or something, I write them down. Like especially like before a test or something, I rewrite the notes because it helps me to memorize in my brain. Use highlighters and be organized. Highlight like important words or information that you don't know. It really helps because then you can go back later and be like, oh yeah, like I need to spend more time focusing on this and seeing what this means and stuff. It's really important to be organized. I would definitely recommend getting like a planner and then getting like a folder for your homework. So that way you know like what homework you have and you can write down like on your planner like when homework is due, like when you get it, all sorts of things like that. So the next thing is um, being happy. It hits close to home for me kind of because my freshman year, I was not happy at all. I hated the school that I went to. I hated, um, the people there I was so like I felt so like lonely and like I had literally nobody like I had maybe like two friends that went to that school and the people were the people were mean to me I surrounded myself with people that did not make me happy you surround yourself with people that make you happy it does not matter who they are it doesn't matter if they're the most popular kids ever it doesn't matter if they're like the nerds or whatever like if a person makes you happy or if a group of people make you happy you stick with them don't don't matter what anybody else says no, nothing anyone has to say is more important than you being happy with who you're friends with or like you being happy with yourself chasing popularity if you're chasing popularity it will you'll be you'll be unhappy the whole time you'll either be secretly unhappy while you're trying to like become someone who you're not or you'll it'll end up really bad you don't need to be popular and what's important is your happiness and you being able to grow as a person and if people are stopping you from it cut them out of your life snippity snip 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 put your happiness and yourself and your schoolwork first before anything else i realize like high school is not the end it's not gonna be where i peak i'm not gonna peak in high school another thing is like when you have drama with your friends don't let it consume you like the best way to deal with drama is to not don't deal with it just let things go it's okay to let what people say get to you sometimes but it's not okay to let it destroy you but like your what your friends have to say what your peers have to say what people who don't even know you have to say does not affect the way you live your life because they're not the ones who are controlling it you are in control the last thing i'll say about being happy is if you're not make sure you're getting help if you're having struggles, make sure you're confiding in somebody, you know, confide in me, literally confide in me, like, I love helping people. Freshman year, high school is not the end of the world, it's not the most important thing in the world. 
keep up with your work, stay focused, you know, know what's really important, and high school is not the worst thing ever. It's not the scariest thing ever either. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!